What's up guys, my name is Ryan and in this video we're going to be going over what I think is the best external drive for video editing and storage on the MacBook Pro. So what I have here is the Samsung T7 and this is the 1TB variant that I have and it's blue and uh, this thing offers read speeds of up to 1050 megabits per second and it also offers write speeds of up to a thousand megabits per second. This also offers a uh, USB Type-C connectivity for uh, USB 3.2. This thing's got an aluminum build, it's super solid and it has tech built into it so uh, it can prevent thermal throttling. So you're not gonna have any issues if you're constantly reading and writing to this. I haven't had any issues. It works fine for me when I edit off of it and when I'm constantly traveling when I'm constantly transferring uh, files back and forth from my uh, MacBook to this drive. So as you can see, this drive does come in blue and it also comes in red or gray. And on Amazon, you can pick a 500 gigabyte up for about $74.99 or if you want a one terabyte variant, it is $104.99 and the stepping up to the two terabyte, you're gonna be picking it up for $189.99 and I think they're on sale right now but uh, if you guys are interested, I'll leave links in the description below for these drives. All right guys, so let's go ahead and plug this uh, solid state drive in and get some synthetic benchmarks going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in right here using my Thunderbolt cable and it's gonna show up on my desktop. Let's go ahead and open up Blackmagic Speed Test, the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. So. We're gonna change our target drive to the Samsung T7. Open it up and we can go ahead and start our speed test. So uh, when I ran this test before, it was maxing out at about 750 megabits per second. And as for the uh, read, it would max out at around like 720, 725. So uh, it's good enough for me to edit straight off of the drive, but it consistently hits these numbers so you can feel very confident about you know getting uh, consistent transfer speed when you're transferring on and off of the SSD all right guys I went ahead and prepared a folder that I can transfer this is a pretty big uh, folder and I'm going to paste it into the Samsung T7 and we'll go ahead and move it and it's gonna transfer three and a half gigs in about five seconds so that's pretty dang fast for um, a drive like this. So, um, I, it's blazing fast, what can I say? If you guys are wondering what do, what do I personally use it for, I personally use this drive for uh, completed video projects and personal data, like important tax documents and whatnot. And I just occasionally edit off of this drive when I'm running low on storage on my MacBook when I haven't had time to kind of uh, archive all my things. I just dump all my uh, video footage into here and then I'll edit straight off of this in Final Cut and it works perfectly fine. There's no hiccups, no stutters and you know I'm pretty happy with it and I think I'm gonna be using this for a long time until uh, one terabyte isn't enough for me anymore. So should you get the Samsung T7? If you guys are looking for a drive that you can edit off of this is not a bad option. I do it and it works just fine or if you guys just want to transfer video files or archive some storage onto from your MacBook onto here so that you can free up space, that's good too. Uh, this is a great daily driver if you just need to transfer files between computers or just need to store it, keep it in a safe place. This is not a bad option. So links to this will be down in the description below. And I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.